Yesterday we were talking about the best logos of the Power Rangers franchise, but in life we all make mistakes and there are some logos that have not been so good. Some of these logos have problems with colors, textures, effects, theming, and lack of originality. This is not to throw hate to any of these seasons or to the creators of these logos, it is just a personal opinion of each person. Leave in the comments your list of the 10 worst Power Rangers logos. Let's start from the least bad to the worst of all. In the number 10 position we have the Megaforce logo, a logo that is not full of mistakes, but it is a very boring logo. We all know that the theme of this season is about pirates, but apparently when they made the logo, they never informed the creator about the theme of the series. This logo has nothing about pirates and has very basic colors. The season logo is nothing different from the franchise logo and this is a problem as it just looks like a bunch of text put together. The only thing that represents the force in this logo is the explosion it has in the background of the name of the season and the explosions are something we can see in every season of Power Rangers. Basically, this logo has nothing that makes it different and stands out among the other logos of the franchise. In the number 9 spot we have the Ninja Steel logo, a logo that suffers from the same flaws as the previous logo. The only difference between these two logos is that this season's logo was more complicated to create since the ninja's weapons have that same metallic color of the letters. Despite this, they could have been a little more creative as the letters they used are the most boring I've ever seen in a logo. The ninja star they used is the only thing that makes us feel the meaning of the theme of the series since the background they used was just a space. The best description we can give of this logo is the word boring. In the number 8 position we have the Lost Galaxy logo and I know that those who saw the previous video are going to be very confused since this logo looks like the In Space logo. For those of you who haven't seen the previous video, I included the In Space logo in the list of the best logos and this Lost Galaxy logo is very similar. The main reason why I included this Lost Galaxy logo in this list is because of the lack of uniqueness since this season comes after in space. They basically used the same elements to create this logo, but the worst part is that they didn't even do it the right way. The quality of lighting and lettering effects between the two logos is very different as this Lost Galaxy logo doesn't look as good as the in space logo. In the number 7 position we have the Zeo logo and every time I see this logo, I feel like I'm looking at a piece of old metal. The worst thing about this logo is its colors since none of these colors match and everything is very dark. Besides this, the theme of the series is not reflected in this logo since the theme is Egyptian and they use a lot of gold. In this logo they could have used Egyptian textures, the color gold, and various colors such as Zeo crystals. This was really a good opportunity wasted and this logo has been one of the saddest that we can see. When I see this logo, I feel like I'm going to watch a horror series, a dark series with a mystery theme. In the number 6 position we have the logo of Operation Overdrive, a series that I could never fully understand the theme. I have always mentioned that the designs of this series have been some of the worst in the entire history of the franchise and the elements they use are boring. Every time I see designs of a compass or planet Earth, I feel like I'm watching a news program. This logo looks like a Discovery Channel adventure show where they go on off-road expeditions traveling through different parts of the wilderness. The lettering effect is quite well done. But the problem is that it doesn't make me feel like I'm going to watch Power Rangers, but rather like I'm going to watch some motocross competition running in the mud. In the number 5 spot we have the Turbo logo, with one of the themes that fans have liked the least in the entire history of Power Rangers. For those who don't know this series, the theme of this season is cars and that's why the name is Turbo. 
I think the person who made this logo was only given 30 minutes to create it and we can only see two things. The first thing that almost nobody notices is that behind the logo of the franchise there is a kind of grille similar to what the cars have on the front. This could also be mistaken for some kind of ferocious animal cage, like the protective fence used in dinosaur movies. The other element is the word turbo at a dynamic angle to represent some speed and movement. This logo is so simple that they could only use the color red, and this makes us feel that the whole series is only about the Red Ranger, the others are not important. In the number 4 spot we have the Ninja Storm logo, which seems to have been created solely with a decal in mind. If you look closely at the name of the series, you will notice that it looks like a decal due to the fact that it has four different colored borders around all the letters. Honestly, I really liked the theme of this season, but they made a terrible attempt trying to represent that in this logo. The background of the letters is a total mess, and this logo has way too many colors. None of these colors complement each other and the style of the series name doesn't match the franchise logo either. It was also a mistake to have drawn the letter, O, oh, as if it were a storm and although I know they meant to represent the name, still, sometimes there are things that just don't look right. In the number 3 spot we have the Lightspeed Rescue logo, which is another attempt to recycle the In Space logo, but in the end they do a terrible job. I'm not a fan of the theme of this series either, but despite that if the logo was well done, then I can recognize it. Unfortunately, in this case this didn't happen, since besides recycling the previous logo, they also did a terrible job in the creation of the letters of the name of the season. The color they gave it looks like copper and this gives it a devalued effect. The style of the lettering doesn't help either and, in the background, they only added a flash of light that, instead of improving, only makes the situation worse. Finally, the colors of this logo do not complement each other either and it seems they never thought about it. In the number 2 spot we have the Time Force logo, something very unfortunate since it has been one of the best seasons and also has one of the best themes of the franchise. We can start with the style of the lettering, a very boring style, with no effects and basically the same color as the franchise's logo. Another thing is that even though they tried to give a 3D effect to those letters, it was still not very noticeable because of all the lightning bolts behind and also because of the bad color selection. Normally, when you want to create a 3D effect, the back should be darker so that the effect is noticeable, but in this case, they used a yellow color, and the letters are almost white. In addition to this, they also added a green stroke under the letters which does not match with everything else as it has a cartoon style. In the number one spot and the worst logo of all time we have the Alien Rangers logo. I don't mean to be rude with any of my expressions, but I honestly don't know what the creator of this logo was thinking. You must remember that this was the second logo of the franchise since after Mighty Morphin had three seasons, they released this short season of Alien Rangers cataloged as 3.5. I believe that here they were just doing a test to know what was going to be the next step in the franchise. The conclusion I've come to is that they looked for an alien to create this horrible logo. Leave in the comments your list of the 10 worst logos of the franchise, like this video and subscribe so this channel won't be as terrible as these Power Rangers logos.